Now, Matthew did help launch our News 4 Tucson investigative unit seven years ago. During his time in Tucson, he helped end the doping of greyhounds at the racetrack in Tucson. He went after corrupt politicians. He shut down a shady moving company and helped bring justice to so many in this community. Matthew has received more than 200 awards over 44 years on the beat. We now take a look back at the remarkable career of an old school journalist in his own words. Why are you running? I want to ask you some questions. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why won't you talk? Can I just ask you a few questions? Matthew Shores for the News 4 Tucson Investigators. Hey, what are you guys I think I got a sense of fairness and fighting for the underdog from my mother because she did that her whole life and I learned from her. Don't put that in my face. Don't put that in my face. It's not in your face. And I got hired at a little station in Utica, New York, near Syracuse, uh, to be on the air. My first job on TV. My goal was to get back to New York City, number one market, my hometown by the age of 30. My first day on the job on Channel 9 in New York City was exactly my 30th birthday. Reporting live tonight from Holy Name Hospital in Teaneck, Matthew Schwartz. I worked in New York from 1983 to 2003. And today the plane goes down right in their own backyard. You know, in the first 10 years I was a general assignment reporter. I was starting to get burned out. And then one of the best days of my career, April 1st, 1992, the news director at my New York station called me in and said, I'm putting you on the investigative unit. And that changed everything. On Lower Broadway, Matthew Schwartz, UPN 9 it It's hard for me to name one story as my most memorable. The one that probably got the most publicity was my interview in an upstate prison with the serial killer, David Berkowitz, also known as the Son of Sam. Tell me now, David, what will you tell the parole board next month? I'm just going to basically apologize for my actions. There's countless scams and corruption stories I've done. You told me, wait, wait, talk to me here. Wait a minute. You told me two weeks ago you were going to pay this guy. Hi, I'm Matthew Schwartz from ABC Action News. I want to ask you some questions about your practice. Uh, the piece I'm most proud of that I did when I worked in Tampa was about a doctor over-prescribing painkillers to patients. Can I ask you questions about the pills you supply? Will you look at this customer history report I have from one of your patients? I felt before I came to Tucson that I still had stories that I wanted to tell. There, there were still people to help. I don't want to be on the I told you once. I don't, I don't, I know nothing about that. Our investigation has uncovered a scathing internal memo. I was told by the administrator of the courts that you told him you're being investigated. And I'm telling you, I'm not being investigated. Why are you walking away? We want to ask you about the attorney general lawsuit. You've been in trouble there quite a bit, Willie. <laughs> My first story was the Tucson Greyhound Park and the way they were mistreating the dogs. The I interviewed a trainer who yeah. had drugged his own Greyhound. Why'd you drug the dog? I didn't drug any dog. Yeah, the state said you did. He eventually, after several reports we did, he was banned for life from the track. And as all Tucsonans know, the Greyhound Park eventually was shut down by the state. All I can do is hope and pray. We did stories on a moving company here that was found um, guilty of consumer fraud. So you're saying two court rulings are wrong and these customers are wrong. And the I'm not saying anything's wrong. wrong. Any judge that tells me what to do, I'll do. Many, many people over the years have said, you got to write a book about those stories that I've seen you do. Are you walking away? No, I want you, why don't you stop here for a second and talk to me? Did you read it? No, you don't have to put it in my face like that, though. Well, and it's a dream come true. Way. I didn't expect to get traditionally published. I sent, the, 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 the first publisher I sent the book to bought the manuscript. It even paid me a small advance. It was surreal. It's a dream come true. I'm shocked that the overwhelmingly positive response to the book and the great reviews. You know what? The best feeling I ever had is when somebody would tell me, thank you for what you do for the community. And that makes it all worth it. But you really helped us and really made this happen for us. Give him, you should give him a hug for this. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a good run. I know I tried my best to help people. And I think 44 years in this business, it's time for something else, but I've, I've enjoyed mostly every minute of it. You owe the money. Turn that Can off. Can I ask please. you some questions? Turn that off. 
And Matthew's just released book, Confessions of an Investigative Reporter, reached number one on Amazon, and the Kindle version climbed to number one in the Biographies of Journalists category. Thanks for everything, Matthew. You made us all better. You will be sorely missed.